This video is presented by EA Game Changers and a massive thanks to them for allowing me to take part in an Anthem Early Access Capture event. Much, much appreciated. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you Ranger Sniper Rifle Gameplay with a favour to ask mission but before we get into the video guys i'm giving away a few full copies of anthem to be in with a chance of winning one simply make sure you're subbed to the channel drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below more details in the video description if you guys have already pre-ordered anthem but would still like to show your support you can by hitting that like button if you're new around here and anthem videos are what you want to see be sure to subscribe as i have many many more exclusive anthem videos to come guys which you won't want to miss okay so today people within this video we witness a favor to ask mission me using the ranger and guys i will say go easy on me after using the interceptor for literally three hours straight then going to the ranger it just feels so so different not in a bad way at all just much much more weirder a little slower and a little less hectic so the moments you see of me losing control and hitting things i was just testing you guys you know what i mean i was just testing yes but yeah before we get into my range of load at first of the mission we will see here is a favor to ask which revolves around you upholding freelancer traditions via clearing 12 predators then lighting memorial fires there are a few instances of this before you have to retrieve links and retrieve stolen equipment. Mission brief is, stories of freelancers sacrifice are being lost. Remember the deeds of fallen freelancers by gathering a piece of equipment called a link and returning it to Fort Tarsus. The link is used primarily in communications with ciphers. So let's get on to my ranger loadout. Weapons, I was using the Defender Uncommon Assault Rifle as well as the Dead Eye Uncommon Sniper Rifle, which for me was the first time of using a sniper and I actually really enjoyed it, it felt great. Much better than I actually initially thought. Grenade, I was using the Infernal Grenade. This grenade lights those enemies up people. Additional components being used, I had two equipped Grenadier Inscription this increases grenade recharge rate by 35% of base speed and is also using increased circuitry. Increases melee damage by 30% of base and electric effect by 30% of base. Pretty damn cool. These are both of that common rarity. Support gear, I was using the Monster Point. This deploys a shield that augments allies inside, increasing gun damage by 20%. The range of super attack, which is binded to up on the D-pad, is just absolutely epic. An Iron Man-esque shoulder-mounted tracking missile unit that just causes all kinds of harm to whatever is in its targets. But yeah guys, that is my loadout. Not much more I can do but to leave you to watch the rest of the gameplay. The Ranger though, as we all know, is an all-round javelin suit. Not really made for one specific task, but average in all scenarios, which is what some people like. But let me tell you, it's way, way different to the Interceptor. Like I said, I was using the Interceptor for like three or four hours straight. Absolutely loving it, how agile it is. Doing all them backflips, front flips, flying, all sorts. It's just amazing. But I can tell you the Ranger may be a little bit slower, but it does pack way more of a punch. It's a whole new game style. It really is. Now, I've used all four Javelin suits, and each one feels unique in itself, which is great. The fact that they feel so different, even though they are made for the same thing, is absolutely amazing. But yeah, guys, I think I'm just going to leave you now to watch the rest of this mission. A favor to ask. And on that note, we are coming to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and enjoy Anthem videos and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss an Anthem video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, guys, if you have any questions you want answering about the game, hit me up on Twitter at DPJSC08 or via my Facebook page or my Discord. All are linked within the video description. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
Some gear, but no link to collect. Found another one. Gear is mostly stripped, including the helmet. Oh, no link? None. Strange. Got some more gear here. Serviceable. But no links again. Scars, I guess? No. Scars would never leave all this behind. Someone else. That's all of them. And no links. Anywhere. Damn. I know who's doing this. I don't know why, though. First, survivors left a memorial here. Light the fire. Yaro, who took those links? Ugh, outlaws. Criminals with no code, banished from civilization. Monsters. We've got company. There they are. Lawless cowards. You get back everything they stole. All of it. I'll try. We got some gear. Helmets, mostly. Good. Get the rest before we lose them. Got a link here. I knew it. They are stealing links. Why? Makes no sense. More links. And we're after them for sure. Bring back all you find. We'll need to figure this out later. I had a long history with outlaws, all of it bad. so few stories posted back at the fort. Most went to Freemark, to the Grand Wall. After the Heart of Rage, we started again in Fort Tarsus. So you lost all those stories in Freemark? Yes, we lost much of our history. How did they know to come here? How? Monument of sorts, yes. I've not been able to visit for some time, and I wanted to see it again. For a freelancer. He did great things. So stubborn. <laughs> but come, bring me the links you recovered. Their stories will be written. <laughs> 